Hey, it's Kent Philly here. Excited to teach you another Rocket Pool R ETH DeFi video. These are quick tips and tricks on how to use R ETH, which is a liquid staking derivative of Ethereum in DeFi to compound your yield to earn more than just the staking rewards you can with staking your ETH with Rocket Pool. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So good news, we're going to start off today with the Rocket Pool staking network overview diagram. Wanted to highlight that Rocket Pool now has four nodes out of Africa. That's really exciting. This is showing how many different nodes are around the world in each region. Decentralization is essential to Ethereum's long-term success, and Rocket Pool highlights that here. So um Common site for everyone to start off at is just stake.rocketpool.net. If you already have your RETH like I do and you've ported it over to Optimism, which is an L2 for cheaper fees, um, you can just skip this step. Uh, but I'm going to jump right into what is the DeFi guide for the community, just tinyurl.com forward slash RP DeFi. So RP DeFi, so Rocket Pool DeFi. Click on that and you'll find our handy dandy community created guide. Now today's session is gonna be on a combination that's built on top of Beethoven and uses Beefy. So where we would find that here is we are going through looking at our different options for yield optimization. And that is, not only providing liquidity in a strategic way, but then taking the rewards that are provided through the token incentives and the swap fees and optimizing those returns on another platform. So let's jump right down to this section in the guide. It's the optimism yield optimizer on Beefy. Beefy's been around for quite some time. They're not as large as some of the blue chips, um, which you could imagine are like urine finance, but uh, it's well enough known um, and not as new as um, Reaper. Pickle's been around for a while some time too, but we're going to jump right into it. So we click on this link and it's going to take us right where we already were over here, but this is the rocket fuel pool. So it's taking a minute to load. I'm here in Costa Rica still. Let's just pop over to the screens that I've already loaded. So there are two different options available here on Beefy. This would be on top of Optimism. And so one would be optimizing your RETH ETH pair. And this is projected at a 9.66 APY. So what you can see here is you're earning 8.22% in beefy rewards on top of your 85 basis points you're earning from having your RETH token. So beefy does provide some really good information. It's not a 50-50 pair. You can see that it is basically a 66-33 pair. And they give it a 9.1 safety score. Now, the more interesting opportunity to me is the rocket fuel vault. First off, I love the name even more. And better yet, I like the returns. So we can see that they are really incentivizing the returns with Beefy uh, because there's only 1.15 million locked. When we go over to the RETH ETH pool, we can see that there is, you know, um, close to three times as much locked at 3.46 million. So the main difference here is that we're just dealing with a different type of ETH. This is dealing with wrapped ETH instead of just native ETH. So this one is a bit more appealing to me. And so before you can even use Beefy, uh, you need to add liquidity. And so the liquidity is actually added on Beethoven, which is a fork of balancer. So it is, you can go into the docs and I'll provide this as a reference, but Beethoven tries more innovative strategies and 
uh, is a forward leading community for DeFi that you know Balancer will probably take on the new products that Beethoven will try out. You can almost compare it to like Sushi Swap and Uniswap with types of testing and new products versus focusing on the core value add, which Balancer focuses on today. And so jumping right into Beethoven, you can see that we're already on the Optimism network. Beethoven is only on Phantom and Optimism. So we can see that this pool currently is providing, you know, like 18% yield. And that's pretty exciting. We can see how that's broken down. First and foremost, it's going to be the liquid staked ETH yield. So that's the RETH APR. Then we have our swap fees, which is only about four basis points. We can see a fat 16.69% optimism rewards. So you can see this is incentivized. And then also we have you know 46 basis points of balancer rewards. So the rewards here are primarily just coming from the optimism grant. And so this may not be a long-term opportunity, but we can see right now due to this high yield, we can see that there is 10 million locked and that has increased you know, 48% over this time period, which I would assume would be, well, I'm not gonna make an assumption because it doesn't look like this is relative to the total value locked, the balancer pool price. But regardless, this is a test to show you what this is like. So we jump right in to invest. First, you have to approve. We have already approved. We pick how much we want to put in. We're going to put in 0.2 ETH. And then, so, you know, three-fourths to one-quarter amount. We can actually increase our R ETH that we want to put in. So how do we do that? We go to the invest section and we adjust here based on how much we have in our wallet. You can see I could max out my RETH that I want to put in. Um, and that here using a custom amount, it gives me that availability. But I'd like to save some RETH to use for other DeFi opportunities. So I'm gonna consider only putting in one third relative to the ETH that I put in. Well, actually I'd like to do it the opposite way because my R ETH is gonna earn staking rewards while my ETH is not earning any rewards. So it'd be smarter for me to turn more ETH into R ETH and then provide that as liquidity instead of doing the opposite, which is you know using ETH and DeFi only. It's more intelligent to use our ETH in DeFi. So I'm glad talking that through with you, I decided to make the smarter move. Kind of plan on doing that from the start, but it's how you want to think of things that DeFi is meant to have compounding returns. And that's why our ETH is so advantageous for DeFi. So we've set here a $154 in ETH and then $400 in our ETH. We're going to limit our max slippage to half of a basis point. We'll actually keep it to uh, a tenth of a basis point. So we're going to preview this. This is where we're total amount invested. And I'm going to click confirm. I see it pops over here in my wallet. Since it's on optimism, it's very low fees, which is extremely exciting. I'm waiting for this to pop over to my hardware wallet now so that I can confirm. Hope you like my hat. This is an ETH Denver purchase. Uh, it is a Gitcoin hat. It's my favorite winter hat. Bam, we can see that was fast on optimism and I've successfully invested uh, 0.22 RETH and 0.092617 ETH. So half of this is done. So that's great. They're celebrating with me here. Now I can exit out of the Beethoven and pop on over to Beefy. And I can now refresh my Beefy tab. I'll also have to refresh my frame wallet. 
So cool thing here is that we're on optimism. We don't have to worry about the increased gas usage currently on Ethereum. We've said, let's operate on L2s. The hardest part is getting your assets onto an L2, and then it's pretty gravy from there. Even porting between L2s like Optimism or Arbitrum, um, you can even consider Avalanche to be an L2. So we have reloaded the rocket fuel vault on Beefy. We're waiting for our wallet to reload as well. We can see we're already connected. Now, the good thing here is just the opportunity for insurance through Nexus Mutual. That is huge. I have insurance in different areas of DeFi when I'm taking high risk, and it just makes a lot of sense to be able to you know, protect yourself in case there's smart contracts or a hack. So I'm going to take all of the balancer pool tokens that we just deposited and put them into Beefy, the yield optimizer. Yeah. First, connect my wallet and approving there. Now, waiting for the next transaction that will prompt me to actually approve and then deposit. Oh, have to do it again. So, first, I entered max amount. Now, I'm going to deposit all. So two transactions I need to, first I need to approve, that makes sense. So I'll do that in my hardware wallet. I really like the Trezor that I use. I have multiple Trezors. Um, also I have a Grid Plus and I think Ledgers are cool. Uh, many different cool wallets out there. Bam, quickly that first transaction to first authorize the tokens on Beefy. The balancer, the Beethoven pool token. I said balancer with Beethoven, my apologies. And now since it was approved and I got deposited and boom, deposit was successful. So it's telling me, remember, Moo tokens are the interest bearing tokenized proof of your deposit. You'll need them to withdraw your funds. If you lose ownership of your Moo tokens, you lose ownership of your deposit. That makes sense. So that was all we had to do. Um, now I am earning interest. I can dive deeper into the details here, which is always helpful. Uh, learning more about the strategy before you jump in. Um, I always do the research beforehand. I even do a test. But this here is going to walk you through how we just use Beethoven's farm. And now we are optimizing the yield of their governance token. That's the beat token. And we're doing that through Beefy. And so we can see that this is community audited, also officially audited. And we can dive into the docs even further if we want to. No need to do that right now. Thanks for your time. We'll provide all these links in the follow up. Hope you enjoy the video. Look forward to feedback. And you turn more ETH into liquid staked ETH via our ETH and take advantage of the opportunities that now exist in, in Web3's DeFi ecosystem. Thanks.